Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a battle of the boxes. I recently got a Target beauty box and a Walmart beauty box delivered to my door and I thought I would go through them and talk about how they're similar and how they're different and which one I prefer. So let's jump right in. So we're going to start out with my Walmart beauty box. These are seasonal boxes and I believe this is my winter box and they are $5 and you can kind of subscribe so that you don't have to purchase each box each time. You can just go ahead and subscribe and you can cancel at any time. They are a really great value and the shipping is included in the $5 price tag. So I'm going to show you what I got inside mine and these are completely random. You do not know what you're going to get when you order it so that is something to keep in mind. So the first item I'm seeing in my box is the Pure Silk Rich and Luxurious Shave Cream in the scent Raspberry Mist, and this is supposed to be moisturizing with aloe, and I do really like trying out different shave creams. This is not one I've tested out so far, so I am excited to try this. And the next item is the Pantene Hairspray, and this is the um, number four extra strong hold, and it says 24 hour humidity resistance, and let's see if this has a good smell to it. It's that like typical Pantene scent, which I do like, and I do not go through a ton of hairspray, so this small size will probably last me quite a while, and it's a really great size for travel. The next item is one that I actually received in a previous Walmart beauty box, so that is kind of the downside. Sometimes you may receive duplicates of products, but this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Boosters Facial Cleanser with white tea and vitamin E, and it's supposed to boost softness, evenness, and radiance, and won't over dry the skin. So. I am interested in trying this. I still haven't tried out my other sample just because I have so many facial cleansers, but I definitely will eventually use this. The next item is the Dial 7 Day Moisturizing Lotion. Um, it says the Omega Moisture version, and let's see if it has a scent to it. It's just a very clean, kind of fruity, kind of citrusy scent. I really like it, and I've never tried any of the Dial lotions, so this will be something new for me to test out. I also received the Goody 8 Soft Touch Silicone Elastics, and they are supposed to be slide proof. And if you have soft, silky hair like me, you'll know that a lot of times when you put your hair up, it just slips and slides right out. And these little elastics are supposed to be really great for kind of holding your hair in place and avoiding that problem. I am excited to test these out when I work out because I do have that problem a lot, and um, I'm excited about these. Next up, I received a body butter, and this is from the brand NSPA um, by Nirvana Spa, and this says, exotically creamy coconut rich body butter. It says it has natural vitamins for your skin, and it is a pretty thick pot. Yeah, it's very coconutty, so if you don't like that, this probably wouldn't be the scent for you. Let's feel a little bit of it here. It's a really great texture, and I feel like this is going to sink into the skin pretty quickly, but still be very moisturizing. So I love body butter, and I'm always excited to try new ones. I also received a little information card about the body butter. It comes in mango, coconut, vanilla, and sweet raspberries. So if you're not into coconut, one of these other scents might be more appealing to you. The rest of the items in my box are all foil packets or uh, coupons, and that is one thing that's really great about the Walmart Beauty Box, is that they include a lot of coupons for the items in the box, and everything in the box can be found at Walmart. If I can find it online, I will link it down below. I will also link the Walmart Beauty Box um, subscription like link so that you can sign up if you're interested, but we're going to go through the rest of this pretty quickly. I received the Ken Pavis You Are Beautiful Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. It says it is for fine hair, which is exactly what I have, so I am excited to try this. I got the Centrum Vitamins. They are a minty multivitamin, which I think is a kind of a cool concept. And on the back there is a dollar off coupon. I also received a coupon for $3 off the Jennifer Aniston fragrance. And they do have a little thing you can peel back and smell here to see if it is something that you do like. CoverGirl has their limited edition Star Wars kind of themed makeup out right now. And there is a little book inside that talks about all the items in the line and a $3 off coupon, which I think is really nice. And I am already really loving the CoverGirl. Star Wars the Supersizer Mascara, so I am interested in checking out other items from the range. And I also received the tiniest little foil packet of the Ole Regenerous Luminous Tone Perfecting Cream Moisturizer, and it says it's supposed to fade the look of dark spots for brighter, healthy looking skin in just eight weeks. I mean, this little sample is not going to be enough for me to test it out and really decide if it's worth the money or not, but they do have a $3 off coupon, I guess, if I like the texture, and um, if I think I want to invest in it, they do include that coupon. 
So my final thoughts are that I am really uh, happy with my box and I definitely think it's absolutely worth the $5. Um, it can get a little bit repetitive, so in the future I may unsubscribe, but for now I'm still very happy with the box and I think that you guys would like it. Definitely should check it out. Like I said, I will leave the link down below. So now we're going to get into the Target Beauty box. These range anywhere from $7 to $10. This particular box was $10. And what I do like is that online you can see all the items in the box prior to purchasing. So there have been boxes that I've not purchased that I didn't really think I was interested in. And then there are other boxes that I think, wow, that's really worth the $10. I definitely want to get that. So because of that, they do not do sort of a subscription service. So you definitely have to kind of keep your eye out and jump right on it. They do sell out very, very quickly. Please follow me on social media. I will have all those linked down below. I usually do post when these go on sale and share that with you guys so that you can get your hands on one. But we are going to jump in and if I can find the link for this, I will link it down below and any items that I got in the box as well. So this is the Glitz and Glam box and on the back it talks about what all the items are and it usually comes with a $3 off 15 coupon. I've actually already used mine because I've had this box sitting ready to film for quite a while and I actually forget what is in the box so we're going to jump in. The first thing that caught my eye is a full size of the new Maybelline mascara. This is the Falsies Push Up Drama and it says that this is supposed to give you push up lashes, dramatic volume and lift and the brush has like a push-up cup on the end. I'm not really sure what that means, but I love Maybelline mascaras and I'm so excited to try a new one. Next, I have the Clairol Hair Food Sulfate Free Dry Shampoo infused with Kiwi Fragrance and this is silicone free, paraben free, and mineral oil free, which is really great because it seems like a pretty natural product and I do love dry shampoo. If you watch my empties, you guys know that and I am excited. I've never um, really tried much from this brand. I did receive a hair mask, which I love, so I have high hopes for this. Definitely smells like kiwi, smells really good, and I'm excited. Next, I got the Olay Regenerist Advanced Anti-Aging Micro Sculpting Cream Moisturizer, and it says that this has a hydro firming complex and that you will start to see visible wrinkle results starting day one. So that is a really big claim, and the size of the pot is a pretty good size, definitely probably about one or two weeks worth, and that's one thing about the Target box that I like. While it is a few dollars more, the items inside are usually a better, like, value and the sizes are usually much larger. You get a lot more full size items, which is what I really love about the Target box. The next item in my box is something that I am excited for. This is the CoverGirl Star Wars lipstick in the shade number 30. It is a beautiful red color and there were a lot of shades in stores that kind of looked unwearable and a little bit crazy, so I am happy that I received this color. I will swatch it here for you. Wow, the pigment on this is so good. One swipe and it is very opaque and it felt really smooth and creamy. I don't know if it's going to slip around on the lips, but we'll definitely test that out and see if you need a lip liner with it and wear this and give you my thoughts. I also received a small backup of one of my favorite eye creams. This is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. And if you were looking for a wonderful drugstore eye cream that's very creamy, moisturizing, um, not too thick, sinks into the skin easily, and really reduces the look of dark circles and puffiness, I would highly recommend this one, and I'm happy to have another one. This box also came with some goodie ouchless sweat stretch elastics, and these are... Um, not the kind of gripper ones, but they are very stretchy and you never can have enough hair ties. I mean, I always buy new packs and then you lose them all and you don't know where they went to, so I definitely could always use some more. This next item I am so pumped about. I have actually heard a lot of people raving about this, especially Nicole from Young, Wild, and Polished here on YouTube. She raved about this product and I knew I definitely wanted to try it. My Target doesn't carry this line. It is Laneige and this is their Water Bank Moisture Cream for normal to dry skin. And basically it is a very hydrating moisturizer and we'll take a look at it here. It is pretty thick looking, but when I'm rubbing it in my hand, it is sinking in very quickly and it feels so nice. I cannot wait to test this out on my face and I'm sure that it's amazing because Nicole said it was, but I can't wait to test it out for myself. And the last item in the box is a full-size product from Pacifica. This is their Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow Trio and it says three times the color, three times the love. And these are supposed to be very velvety and creaseless and we're going to try them out. 
By the way, these products are 100% vegan, cruelty-free, formulated without carmine, FD, and C color, parabens, and petroleum. So they are super natural. I'm going to swatch the three colors, and I would agree they are very velvety. Definitely better than the previous shadows that I have swatched from Pacifica, so they definitely seem to have improved their formula. And the colors are right here, and I have them swatched on the back of my hand. Very natural and wearable. We've got a light brown, a sort of warm orange color, beautiful for fall and winter, and a light kind of champagne brow bone color. I cannot wait to try this because this seems very promising. So my final thoughts for the Target Beauty Box is that I am so impressed with this. This is definitely worth the $10 that I spent on it. I think that they have a very good variety of products. They have skincare, hair care, and makeup. And I think that the variety of brands is also really great. They have some natural products thrown in there. And I have not tested any of the items other than the eye cream in here. So I am so excited about this. And if I had to choose one over the other, I definitely think that Target won by a mile. This box was so good, and like I said, you should definitely check out both boxes. I'm very happy with both, but if I had to choose only one, I definitely would pick the Target box, but either way, I am so excited to try all of these new products for the new year, and I will definitely let you guys know in future videos which products I ended up loving. So that is it for my Battle of the Boxes Target versus Walmart Beauty Box uh, showdown. And please hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy my video. And as always, please subscribe so you'll continue to see my videos. I do have a giveaway open until the 12th of January. I will link that down below. All you have to do is be a subscriber and fill out the Google Doc. So definitely check that out in the description box. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have an awesome day.